In this tutorial, we'll see how to use PyATS Gini parser with Ansible CLA parse module. As I have mentioned earlier, PyATS is a framework developed by Cisco for their internal testings. Later, they have made it public. This is having a lot of functionalities. So it is having its own topology file and you can have the inventory file and this interacts with the device programmatically. You can run test scripts to validate the features. And here we can see one example. Here, if you execute PyATS learn OSPF BGP interface platform, and this is going to be one test bed file, an inventory file of PyATS. So this will connect to all the devices defined in this particular test bed file and learns the features. So this will execute all the show commands related to OSPF BGP interfaces platform and stores this into files and later you can do the diff check or other functionalities and here you can see one sample output it is storing the data in a structured format there are a lot of functionalities available with PyATS here Ansible will be able to use Gini parser now we'll take a look into the framework layer here we have functionality called Gini libs and this is having option to parse the device outputs and here we'll be able to see the commands it supports for example here we execute show version we'll be getting the output in this particular format we'll see how to parse show version output now i'll go to vs code either we can use the existing environment or we can create a new environment because we'll be installing multiple libraries here for this demonstration so i will deactivate this and create a new environment so first i'll go to this directory and virtual env python 3.10 and in home directory, I'll create an environment called PyATS underscore demo. Enter. So now we have a new environment created here. Source home slash PyATS demo bin activate. And here currently we don't have any libraries. So I'll install Ansible first. Pip install. Ansible. In the meantime, I will create a file here. 01 PyATS parser demo dot YML. And we will start writing the task name. by ATS parser demo then post will use R2 and under task will create an Ansible CLA parser task you can see the parameters here Ansible dot utils dot CLA underscore parse under that we need to give the command here the command is going to be show version then parser under parser we have to give the name and in our case first we are going to see how to use pyats ansible dot net common dot pyats we don't have pyats installed here we'll see what error we'll get if we don't have the library and we'll take a look into the documentation and if you want to store the parsed output we can use set fact for storing it and set fact is in this parser level so i'll use set fact and we'll call this sh underscore ver and we'll even try to store this into a variable 
register this i will call show version parser and in the end we will try to print the output copy this variable and save it now we will try running this playbook ansible playbook and directory is 09 file is 01 first we will get the pylib ssh or parameter error because we don't have that library installed so it is saying ansible pylib ssh is not installed so i'll install that pip install we'll try running this again so here we haven't given gather facts because of that it is gathering the facts i'll give gather facts false so here it is saying we don't have the library called genie so here we'll install pip install by ats this will be installing lot of dependencies the python directory file size is going to be more than 500 mb after installing py ats and genie parser now py ats installation is completed i'll install even genie now genie installation also is completed we'll try running the playbook again you can see we are receiving the output from the device and this is printing the complete output which we have registered here and this is having key called ansible facts then the parsed key and under that we are getting the commands parsed output under that there is another key called version and you're getting the data now if you want to take the parsed data from here so we'll try to put multiple outputs here under this message the show version parsed dot the key is parsed here dot version and if you want to get the host name of the device we can give the host name here i'll give dot host name now if you want to duplicate this line we can press alt shift and up or down arrow so it will copy paste same line again and here We'll try to get even the version info. I'll give version and we can see the key here. So it is 15.6. Alt shift and I'll give up arrow. We will even try to get system underscore image. I'll save it and we'll try running this again. So we're getting only the required information from here now we'll try to print even this particular data what we are storing in the set fact So that is having this information and from there also we can get the same data like show underscore version dot version dot post name
Now if you want to parse to IP interface brief command, I'll comment this. Here I'll change the command to to IP interface brief. We'll delete all these. And here if you want to change the value in multiple places, what we can do is you can press Alt key and press the pointer here. We'll go IP int. So now in all these places it is updating the value. Now we'll try running the playbook. And here we have to put this task under the tasks. So I'll move this. Save the file and we'll try running the playbook. So here this is printing std out lines then the std out and here we can see the parsed interface details so in this way you can use pyats for parsing device show commands